2003, we introduced the dual chamber cow waterbed and transformed the traditional way of bedding dairy cows. Today, DCC waterbeds are installed in thousands of barns worldwide. Welcome to Advanced Comfort Technologies installation video of the DCC waterbeds, dual chamber cow waterbeds. This video will show the eight step process for the installation of the dual chamber cow waterbeds. The concrete base should be at least three inches thick and removed of all stones. The smooth concrete platform is necessary for effective performance and to protect the beds from unnecessary wear. DCC water beds arrived to the farm in a roll. Once properly installed, they are filled with tap water on site. You can identify the front edge or head of the beds by the DCC Waterbeds logo. Roll out the appropriate number of DCC Waterbeds to fit the platform. As you unroll the beds, you'll see the DCC Waterbed logo, the patent number, and the colored mark. The colored mark indicates the midpoint between the beds. This will be centered under the stall divider. Using a utility knife and a straight edge, cut a line perpendicular from the front of the bed. Use the colored mark as a guide when cutting the beds. Pull and align the beds onto the platform. Alignment is based on the type of manure handling system in the barn. In this barn, we have a mechanical scraper system. The rear of the bed would be directly in line with the rear of the curb. When the beds are properly positioned, it's time to fasten them to the concrete platform. Secure the ends of each run first. Starting with one end bed, place one stainless steel strip four inches from the top of the bed and one half inch from the end of the bed. It's important to leave one half inch of rubber exposed on the outside edge for stability and strength. With the stainless steel strip one half inch away from the edge of the bed, use a one quarter by six inch bit to drill three holes. Drill through the rubber and into the concrete in the center hole first. Hammer in three anchors to hold the stainless steel strip in place. This ensures that the stainless steel strip will not shift or move. After you have fastened the first three anchors, drill the rest of the holes and fasten the remaining anchors. Repeat the process at the other end of the row of beds. Once the DCC water beds are fastened at both ends, begin anchoring the front strips on the beds. Start with the first bed in the run. One aluminum strip is placed at the top of each bed. The smooth side of the aluminum strip should face up. The long lip on the bottom side of the aluminum strip should be tight against the edge of the bed. Center the strip between the fill tubes. Drill five anchor holes through the rubber and into the concrete using the entire length of the bit. Starting from the center hole, place an anchor in and drive it down. Then drive the anchors on either side of the center in completely. Drive the outside anchors in only halfway. These will be driven in completely only after filling the beds and securing the fill tube closure. Secure a minimum of six front aluminum strips before beginning to fill the beds with water. When filling the beds, create a seal between the fill tube and the water meter nozzle to prevent air from getting in and water from leaking out. First, insert a flat edge screwdriver one to two inches in the fill tube hole. Turn the screwdriver handle 90 degrees. Slide the nozzle of the fill tube meter 
in the fill tube hole and simultaneously remove the screwdriver. Use two vice grips to secure the nozzle and create a seal. Place the vice grips on a 45 degree angle on each side of the nozzle to create a seal. Turn on the water and fill the beds to the appropriate level according to the installation instructions. Once the bed is filled, remove the vice grips and the nozzle. It's normal for a small amount of water to come out of the fill tube hole. To secure the bed, seal the fill tube opening with a three-part clamp, approximately one inch from the top of the bed with the leather punch provided Punch a hole completely through the rubber in the center of the fill tube. Take the part of the three-part closure with a threaded insert. Place it under the mat and through the hole that you just punched. Place the cupped top plate over the hole, aligning it with the flat plate below. Fasten the bolt through the top plate and into the threaded plate. Secure the fill tube closure using a one half inch wrench or socket. Ensure that there is exposed rubber around the circumference of the closure. Tightly fasten the fill tube closure. Once the beds are filled and the fill tube closure is secured, it is time to go back to the anchors that were driven in halfway at the front of each aluminum strip and finish driving them completely into the concrete. We recommend installing a four inch diameter, schedule 40, pressurized PVC pipe as a brisket locator. This helps position the cows correctly on the DCC waterbeds. After filling the beds, fasten the PVC under every stall using a galvanized bracket and two cement anchors. Use one bracket under each stall divider and at the end of each run of beds. The cows may now enter the barn to enjoy the comfort of the DCC waterbeds. DCC waterbeds can be made to fit many stall sizes and barn applications. Please call us or contact a dealer in your area to discuss your unique situation. For more information, visit us at dccwaterbeds.com. DCC waterbeds provide a durable, comfortable surface for your cows to lie on while reducing the need for additional bedding and hours of labor and maintenance. DCC waterbeds have proven to be the right choice for dairy producers with any size herd.